pulse tube cooler, a refrigeration device that's capable of achieving cryogenic temperatures. Let's start with the three-stage pulse tube cooler and look at a single stage. Its design consists of a compressor, a regenerator, pulse tube, inertance tube, restriction valve, and a buffer tank. Like most mechanical cooling devices, cooling is achieved through the process of cyclic compression and expansion of a working fluid. In this case, the working fluid is helium. At the start of the first cycle, the entire assembly is at the same temperature and pressure. We will call the gas in the compression chamber pulse gas, and we will call the gas in the pulse tube tube gas. It's one and the same gas, but they behave differently once we start the compressor. The compressor starts by compressing the pulse gas in the compression chamber. The compression of the pulse gas will cause an increase in temperature and pressure. Even though the compression chamber is connected to the pulse tube with minimal flow restriction, it will still take some time for the high pressure pulse gas to travel to the pulse tube. So, for now, the pressure and temperature in the pulse tube is at ambient level. Since there is a heat exchanger attached to the compression chamber, some of the heat from compressing the pulse gas will be dissipated, causing the pressure and temperature of the pulse gas to decrease by some amount. The pressure will still be above ambient pressure by a lot, while the temperature will be closer to ambient temperature. In this state, the pulse gas then enters the regenerator. The function of the regenerator is to absorb additional heat from the high pressure pulse gas as it flows to the pulse tube. Unlike the heat exchanger in the compression chamber, the regenerator can only absorb a very limited amount of heat from the high pressure pulse gas that's flowing through it. But this is enough to drop the temperature to ambient. In this state, the high pressure pulse gas now enters the pulse tube at ambient temperature. This side of the pulse tube is called the cold end because it's the coldest side of the pulse tube. The other side is called a hot end and here's why. As our ambient temperature high pressure pulse gas travels to the other side of the pulse tube, it will compress the tube gas that's already there, causing it to heat up at that end, hence the hot end. A heat exchanger at the hot end of the pulse tube will once again remove most of the heat from the tube gas. Since the tube gas is now under pressure, it will be forced through the restriction valve, through the inertance tube, and finally into the buffer tank. At some point, while the tube gas from the pulse tube is still moving through the inertance tube, the piston from the compressor will be reversed. As the pulse gas is still pushing the tube gas through the inertance tube due to its inertia, the reversed movement of the piston will cause an expansion of the pulse gas inside the pulse tube. Since the pulse gas is at ambient temperature, this expansion will cause the temperature of the pulse gas to drop below ambient, causing the cooling effect on the cold end of the pulse tube. A heat exchanger at this cold end will absorb heat from whatever we're cooling down. But this is not the end of the cycle. As the pulse gas travels through the regenerator, it will absorb the heat from the regenerator that was stored earlier when the compressor compressed the pulse gas, thus completing the cycle. Except, that the pulse gas is starting off at a slightly lower temperature than the first compression cycle. This means that the final temperature at the end of this cycle will be slightly colder than at the end of the previous. Each compression cycle will be compressing a slightly colder gas than the previous cycle, causing the temperature at the cold end of the pulse tube to keep falling until thermal equilibrium is reached. The inertance tube is there to delay the flow of the tube gas back into the pulse tube so to allow the pulse gas to expand. So this is how a single stage pulse tube cooler works. A multi-stage pulse tube cooler works almost like multiple single stage coolers chained together.